Good evening, everybody. It is once again time to discuss flow charting symbols, and this time we're going to discuss the delay symbol. And this time we're going to play a game. You're going to try to guess what number I'm thinking of. Okay? The program starts like this. It goes to a manual input. Okay? At this point it's saying, all right, I want you to tell me what number I'm thinking of. If the guy says a letter W, it's going to come down here and it's going to say, okay, the guy said a letter W instead of a number. So now we're going to go over here and say, that was not a number, and stop the program. All right, but if the guy says the number 5, it goes down here. It says, well, is it a number? Yes, it is. Then it'll go over here, and then it'll give a 30-second delay. The anticipation grows and grows and grows. Then it'll go down here and say, well, is that number number six? If it's not number six, it'll put up a little document that'll say, the number is not number six, so you're wrong. The end. However, if the guy over here says the number six, obviously it's a number, so it goes over here, creates the delay, and the attention grows and grows and grows. Then it goes down here. Is the number six? He said six. Yes, it is six. So it goes over to this side and says, all right, print up. The number was indeed six. Thanks for playing. And there you go. Might even put a little congratulations. Congratulations, the number six. Thanks for playing. So on and so forth. So the basic thing is, once the program goes down here we, where we figured out that it, it, did, it was indeed a number, then we go over here, we have a delay, and then we, the tension mounts and mounts. It's just like a game show. The tension mounts. Did he guess the number right? And there you go. All right. That's my lesson for tonight. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.